Have you ever peed neon yellow urine? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, board certified urologist, sexual health expert, and medical advisor with FemHealth, your number one source of evidence-based health information for you by doctors. Today, we're gonna to discuss a topic that might've made you curious, like what are the causes of neon yellow urine? So what makes your urine yellow to begin with is due to a substance called urobilin. Now our red blood cells, which are basically in our blood, our red blood cells include a product called hemoglobin. Now when this breaks down, it creates urobilin. Now this is then processed by the body and eliminated in the urine. And the concentration of urobilin in the urine can be variable depending on a variety of things, and it can range from a color of pale yellow to dark yellow. And the intensity of that yellow color is most often influenced by your hydration status. So when you're well hydrated, the urine is more diluted and it can be lighter pale yellow. And I'd like to tell patients, you know, ideally you want to aim for urine that's light yellow, like lemonade. That probably means you're drinking enough fluids and you're not drinking too much. However, when you're dehydrated, your urine can become more concentrated and it makes it look darker and more concentrated yellow. However, dehydration alone doesn't usually cause urine to be neon yellow. So if you're taking certain vitamins, like those containing B vitamins, B12, B6, it can cause your urine urine to turn neon yellow, specifically B vitamins like B2, riboflavin, or B12, cobalamin. And this can give your urine a bright fluorescent color when your body processes them. And this is more common if you're taking more than you need. That's why often you'll hear doctors say vitamins just give you expensive urine because your body does a great job of getting rid of anything it doesn't need. The good news is while neon urine can be pretty shocking, it's not dangerous and it's just a sign that you can cut back on the amount of vitamins you're taking. And always talk to your doctor before starting supplements to make sure they don't interact with any of your other medications or health conditions. Now, certain medications and food additives can also influence the color of your urine. So things like antibiotics, like rifampin or fenzoperidine called peridium can also give your urine a neon yellow, orange, or reddish tint. Even eating foods or drinks with artificial coloring, like those that are found in energy drinks, can also affect the color of your urine too. So for example, if you're consuming foods that have a lot of beta carotene, like carrots, sweet potatoes, these can cause your urine to be bright yellow or even orange. And what happens is when you eat them, the beta carotene that you eat is converted to vitamin A, which can then give your urine a darker or even orange tint. Even natural foods like berries and beets can change the color of your urine to be a little bit more pink or red. Again, these are all temporary changes, so nothing to be truly worried about. So next time you see a change in the color of your urine after you've had a bowl of bright orange carrots or having some juicy berries, know that it's simply a fascinating interaction between what you eat and the waste products that your body eliminates. Next is urinary tract infections. So UTIs can also change the color of your urine. A urinary tract infection happens when bacteria come into the urinary tract and multiply, and then they then cause inflammation, which causes symptoms like dysuria or pain when you urinate, urgency, like the desire to go that you can't delay, frequency, going to the bathroom eight or more times a day, or suprapubic or lower abdominal pain, so which is kind of low in your belly. And when you have a UTI, your urine color changes. It can be cloudy, murky, or even have a reddish or pinkish tinge. Now, this discoloration happens sometimes because there's blood in the urine or the cloudiness is because of the infection. Now, these color changes are pretty common, but they should go away when your infection clears up. If you have blood in the urine after an infection is cleared up and you don't have other symptoms of infection, it's really important that you go see a urologist to get evaluated and sure you don't have a more serious cause of bleeding that's causing issues in your urinary tract. This can be things like stones or tumors or other issues. A UTI is typically treated with antibiotics. So if you find that you're having symptoms like the one I described, make sure you go see your primary care doctor to get treatment and your urine color, again, should normalize after you've been treated and all these issues should go away. Now, the next thing that sometimes changes urine color is either liver or gallbladder issues. Now, in rare cases, neon yellow urine can be a sign of liver or gallbladder issues. 
Liver diseases like those that cause blocked bile ducts can affect the elimination of a product called bilirubin. And this is a yellow pigment that's produced again during the breakdown of red blood cells. So if this bilirubin can't get out through the body, it's normally extruded through the digestive system, but because it's having issues, it can then go through the urinary system, making it look neon yellow. So if you're not sure why your urine is neon yellow and you're not feeling well, or there's other signs that something may be going on, please be sure to see your doctor and get evaluated to make sure you don't have any more serious conditions. Now, Remember, if your urine is consistently neon yellow or you have other concerning symptoms and you're not sure what they are, it's always a good idea to go see your doctor and get evaluated. Now, if you found this video informative and enjoyed this discussion, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you subscribe, you'll be able to stay up to date with all our future videos. And don't forget to check, click that notification bell so you never miss on our newest uploads. Thanks so much for watching. The doctors of FemHealth are here for you and your family. Thank you.